parasympathetic fibers. The anatomy of the parasympathetic nervous system is more straightforward. There's a little bit of review. Do you remember? Okay, parasympathetic, what do you notice about my green fibers? Green fibers are coming from where, my friends? They're coming from the brain, and they're coming from the sacrum. So S2 to S4 and cranial nerves. What? Cranial nerves? Who? What cranial nerves carry parasympathetic fibers? Three to make your pupils constrict. Seven, oops, seven goes like that. That says seven. Sure does. To make you salivate and cry. Nine, <laughs> to make you salivate some more. And 10, holy, to do everything else. What cranial nerve was 10? That was the vagus nerve, and it comes down like this and goes everywhere. The vagus nerve does 75 to 80 percent of all of your parasympathetic innervation. It's actually carried in the vagus nerve, which is wildly fantastic. The rest of your cranial nerves carry some of it, and then you've got some sacral nerves that are carrying some of it. And what is the anatomy? What is the spinal cord anatomy? It's not this, and it's not this. In fact, it'll be this except what am I going to cross off? Who needs this? Hmm, that's going to be in the sympathetic nervous system. We're not even, it, just pretend like that doesn't exist for parasympathetic. So if we were going to map this, map our dark green pathway, where is our preganglionic cell body? Same place as all of our other visceral motor. It's in either the lateral gray horn or like the lateral arena. I think technically in the sacral spinal cord, they don't call it a lateral gray horn, but they do have a lateral gray area. And then, of course, in the cranial nerves, the visceral motor fibers are coming out of the brain. So they're not going to have, I mean, we're not mapping it onto the spinal cord at all because it's coming out of brain. But in the sacral region, for the areas that do map, we've got this parasympathetic fiber that comes through just like everybody else, comes through the ventral, I mean the anterior root, through the spinal nerve, out the anterior ramus, and then, remember, this guy is so long, and this is my preganglionic neuron. And it's still, let's just pretend, it actually doesn't go to the heart. It's the vagus nerve that goes to the heart, but we're just going to pretend, because, you know, pretending is fun and I'll change my color just slightly. We'll make it a little bit DACA. This is my ganglionic neuron. With parasympathetic fibers, the ganglia, the ganglionic neurons are really short. They're often embedded in the wall of the effector itself. Again, the, the heart is innervated by the vagus nerve, so we're not going to see this coming out of the spinal cord, but we would see a preganglionic neuron that's really long coming out of the brain stem where cranial nerve 11 exits the brain. I mean 10, because that's the vagus nerve. Mm, oh, what's true about my preganglionic neuron? Okay, I love you guys a lot, and I really want to put the yellow ruffly pants on this preganglionic neuron, but it's really long, really long. Look at me. I'm doing it anyway. Go! Okay, we have a little bit of wonkiness in my, oh, look, I did it. It's totally myelinated. Is my 
ganglionic neuron myelinated? No, and that's the characteristic of my visceral motor pathways. What else do you need to know? It's going to calm us down. We're going to chill out. We're going to be able to make babies unless we're sea urchins, but sea urchins don't have spinal cords, so we're cool. That's it. Are you happy? Okay, now we're going to review all of it together, and I will be right back to do that.